Howdy everyone, Clover Retribution just dropped update 1, so today I'll be showing you everything on the new update. Alrighty. So, one of the main parts of this new update 1 is that we've gotten a new part of the main story. So as you can see, this guy no longer says that old dialogue saying wait for update 1. So you found, give me a bit of time, blah 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 blah. Random crap. So, basically he says to go to the castle, I'm pretty sure. So let's go there real quick. Alrighty. Now that we've arrived at the castle, just want to get off your broom real quick and then head into here. Oh Jesus. This looks really nice. Let's go. Okay. We're in it now. <laughs> Get the the new quest. I haven't actually seen any of this. Like any of the new main story. So this is new for me. You there. I may speak with you. Since the Wizard King's disappearance, the situation has grown grim. What is the threat? The Shadow Hand, a vile group I'm sure you know of, has been exploiting the King's absence to sow chaos. Wait, so that probably? How can I say this? We need someone capable to disrupt their operations. They must be shown that their actions... Oh. That's right. Last part of the main story was spying on the Shadow Hand. There's... Can we get on our broom now? No. Oh, that's right. I forgot to show this. This is the new spear quest. Um... It's actually very, very, very hard to do. You need to kill 15 players and then 8 yetis. But for the yetis, we'll get, we'll get to that in the uh, end of the video. Around the end, I'd say. Let's quickly get out of here. I also want to show you something else. So, if you're a swordsman, before we get uh, before we get into the main story, I want to quickly show you something. Um, if you are a swordsman and want to become a spearsman, you know, from a tutor, you want to come in here, you want to talk to this guy, it will cost you some gold, but you can reset your, um, class, and then, yeah, become spear, spearman. Let's just jump down here, who cares? Ouch. That's, um, pretty interesting. Let's get out of here. Jesus. Huh. Um... Says the markers over here. Unless, all right. Um, I got a little bit lost, but I'm pretty sure I'm here. Um, huh. Um, so it's meant to be right here. Like the the thing, the marker there is here. Oh, here's this little lad. Oh. Jesus Christ. Um, I just like to mention, I did get heavenly restricted, so my build may be a little bit strange. Not that I love it. I'm kind of keeping it for now until I get more trade spins. Alright, Shadow Hand Goon. This guy's. They, they feel a lot stronger than the uh, old PCs that we have to fight. Oh my goodness! Holy crap, it's like Venom, but like an NPC. We did kill eight of these. So it's like eight Venoms. Jesus Christ. Alright. We have to kill eight of these things. Eight. Okay. Smack his ass. Smack his ass. Oh, Jesus, I'm getting my ass smacked right now. It's kind of weird having him in the restricted, so I remember just like absolutely spamming the hell out of magic. But I think this is a good, bit of a good upgrade, because the only ability that I actually did use was Wormhole and um, Death Point. Alright, um, let's get Rizal. Bro. <laughs> it's taking me that long just to kill two, there's no way. Alright. Let's keep getting through these guys. Smashing through them. Down, down, down. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm getting smacked. 
Oh, it's still going to let me down. Oh, you Jesus Christ. Oh, they're stuck in the light. <laughs> so they have soul skills and void bullies? Nah. Okay, they suck my ass. That's fine. Gosh, it's like black powder. I hope that extra 30% HP is completely a No, no, please, 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 baby. Get smacked. Get smacked. Oh, 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 oh. quest took way longer than I thought it would. I thought it would have taken like 5 minutes. Nah, that took nearly 10 minutes just to fight them. I, I might just be weak, but who knows. Alright, um, I gotta go back to the castle I think for the next part of the main story. Yep. Let's quickly head there. Okay, um, gotta see what the next part is, cause... I'm actually kind of invested in the story. It's very interesting. Oh, who's bonded? Warlord? Oh. I don't really need any easy drops. Alright, we're here in the room. Okay, okay, let's talk to this guy. You're proving yourself resourceful, but we've a deeper issue. Repo we've a. Deep issue. Reports say the Shadow Hand has been striking deals with dark entities and secret locations throughout the capital. Care to uncover the truth? Sounds intriguing. I'm in. I've a contact. I've a contact. Hmm. Yes. Who saw something suspicious somewhere in the capital? He thinks they're using it as a meeting spot. I'd s I'd start there. Okay, be careful, the shadow hand doesn't take kindly to prying eyes, you have it. okay. This quest feels the exact same as the one that we had to do, like, after the, we finished the part of the story before update one. Where we had to go to that one place, and then those guards were like, oh, go away. Or maybe it is the exact same thing, nice. <laughs> Alright, um... <clears throat> Do we leave? Okay, I think it is the exact same thing. Because it's in the exact same area. Alright. Oh, same building. Let's fight him. Get lost. Okay, um... Let's see what... The next part of the main story is oh, I got a level 91. Um, um yeah, I'll go strength. Oh, shoot. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get in here. So, for the rest of the video, I think I'm gonna be showcasing everything. It's everything that's an update one. Alright, here's the... I actually very much like this building. Oh, that's that chandelier, bro. That chandelier. Jesus Christ, that chandelier. Oh my god, that chandelier. Oh my god, that chandelier. Okay. You there, I must speak with you. Since the Wizard King's disappearance, the situation has grown grim. What is the threat? The Shadow Hand of our group, I'm sure you know of, has been exploiting the King's aspect. Uh, um... Um. Oh hell no! I ain't doing that same quest. I'm not doing that same quest. There's no way. There's there's no way now. I'm doing the same thing. Um. So I'm guessing 
the main story has not been completed, so there's like a bit of the main story going on, you know, but I don't think it's been completed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sad. It's gonna just repeat it all, you know, just keep repeating it. Alright, so for a fact, I know that you've probably been, probably been eyeballing the greater healing potions. And I'll show you how to get these. So these were just recently added with update one. Um, so right here, greater healing potion and healing potion. So it costs 200 and this one costs 250. So you need grass and blue li li lilies, which is just so good, bro. It's so good. And 25% of your maximum HP for this one. And then for the second one, let's quickly get to that. Greater healing potion, um, 350, you know, 50%. So you can see I've actually crafted a couple, so I've, um, oh, wrong thing, wrong thing. <laughs> actually crafted up a couple. Let's quickly go here. Six, crafted six. So it'll be very handy later on. So obviously they're not, like, definite chance. You know, you have 80, I think that was 60. So quickly take some damage and then use it and then test it. Also, if you haven't actually seen, there's a new strength, um, like, hammer hitting animation, which is so good, so good, so good. It feels a lot more smoother and fresh, and generally just amazing. Alright, take a little bit more damage. Um, okay, let's get away. Okay, 25 seconds. That's just the, that's just, that's just the normal time for any type of potion. That's... That's still good though. It's still good. I feel like for fifty percent, I feel like it should be at least like a minute. But still. All right, so he's gonna come really handy in the next part of this video. Is I'm going to be showcasing the new dungeon. So let's get right into that. So here's the NPC for um the new dungeon. As you can see, you can talk to him. Uh, he does all the stuff like asking you easy, medium, and hard. She's like, yeah, here. You can do it alone or with a party, but I would suggest doing it with a party. So as you can see, I'm on a party here. We're probably going to get more people because it's extremely hard. Like, it's very, very hard. Uh, Alright, so this is the new dungeon right here. I actually thought I was recording, but I didn't. But we come back here. <laughs> this is the new NPC, so if you talk to him, you can get a quest room. I've actually done it um, already. But so. so yes, it is accurate to the anime. Oh. Watch out for this, this is a media. Well, I guess you could say the media. It's like falling debris and they have it's really hard hitting and it's really annoying. Alright. Gotta ask for an invite real quick. They're doing everything without me, so I can't really showcase anything. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, when the when the zombies, so yes, zombies, um get knocked, you have to steal them. To basically finish them off. They really weak the zombie fired civilians, as they should be. Quickly seal these guys off like everyone else. Alright, now we'll get to the second part. Oh, thank you, Ewan. And now we kill these guys, the Clover Knights. Clover Knights are very powerful. Like they they're they're pretty annoying to go up against. So there's only three here at the moment. As we after we get past this part, there's gonna be like ten of these guys. No more zombie fight civilians. Okay, he's selling that guy away. So for the dungeon, in my opinion, um, oh gosh, gotta, oh, just in time, just in time. All right, so as you can see, for the potions, right, right here, the potions are very useful for the dungeon as well, because, boom, all my health back. And when you get to the boss fight, you'll realize they are very, very useful. All right. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. So as you can see over here, like I said, there's gonna be like 10, so it's like six, and then you got nine over here. So yeah, like nine, basically 10. You got 10 of these freaking badasses over here. So for the dungeon of my, oh Jesus. For the dungeon of my opinion, um, you want at least one healer and one flame user. The reason for this is that, so flame, when they, when they get um, knocked, you have to seal them. But with flame, all you got to do is use one of your flame abilities and it insta-seals them, which is actually so overpowered, bro. Now, you will need like a healer because, I mean, you 
can't heal with um when being out of combat, which is the sad thing about it, which makes potions um very useful for this. They come very handy, Daddy. You also want like maybe a couple of void users, because you know Corona's just just want to stay on top, bro. It's probably one of the best magics for killing bosses. Yeah, that's just a little bit of the advice for the new game. Jesus Christ, right? Then we can seal them already. There we go. Smashing through this, bro. It's crazy. Alright, seal that. Also, another thing is with the with the um, easy, median, and hard modes, right? Easy, I'm pretty sure, gives five lives. I'm not sure about medium, but hard gives, I think, one or no life. So, if you die, you're just dead. Um, I don't know why you would want to do hard, because, you know, easy is on top. But if you want to challenge yourself, then go ahead. But I know I'm definitely not doing that. Oh, I just parry something. Alright, now let's take out the rest of the- Yeah, 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 Oh my god, bro. Jesus, that's so much. So many medias. Alright, let's get these guys together. That damn looks crazy, bro. Void is amazing. Look at that. Look at that, bro. I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay. Alrighty. Oh! Sect M. Oh no! Alright. This, these, these, this dungeon gets really intense really quickly. It goes from just fighting little zombified civilians, which, you know, three shots, to fighting, like, zombified, um, clover knights. Very powerful. Meteorites, and then obviously coming up a bit past this area, we're gonna go up to a freaking mini boss, the Clover Lieutenant. Um, I think he drops stuff. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Because um, there's a percentage thing on him when dealing damage. Alrighty, alrighty, we're going on to the next part. Everyone's all healed up, so it's kind of just waiting. Alright, here we are. These are the lieutenants right here. These are the bad guys. Oh Jesus Christ! Yes, also, they do have spear skills. I forgot to say that earlier. Um, hey. Gosh, it's media. Jesus Christ! This media rain is very annoying. We're, we're smashing these guys. We're smashing these guys. Alright, let's really seal this guy away. Alright. Woo! Oh, oh, no! Oh my goodness, bro. There's so many medias, bro. Holy crap. I don't know why we're bringing the fight out here, alright? Oh, we are destroying the covenant. I don't even think I got, um, 10% on him. Oh, okay. Put the kid out here. Oh, and I still get hit. That's lovely. Bloody lovely, man. Oh, I swear to God. Seal this. Oh! Have I done 10%? I can. Sick! Alright, use the flame. I took so much damage from that. Alright. I don't know why this guy's sitting here just blocking. Alright. Mm, no drops. I, don't, I actually don't think you get any drops for the, from the Clover Lieutenant, so I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Um, if we don't get any drops, then comment down below if you got any drops from the Clover Lieutenant if you reached this far. Into the video. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this little bastard. Alright, let's go ahead more. No, this this dungeon. This dungeon's real sick, bro. There's definitely a lot of teamwork, so if you don't have friends then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm here for you. Okay, I'm just yapping now. I'm just yapping. Now. Let's, let's let's get all serious. I have no idea if I'm actually dealing damage to the goddamn boss. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, I'm doing the most damage now. I'm doing it. This is where it gets really, 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 okay. This is where it gets really hard, right here. As you can see, it's the boss. So, now we'll go up to the door. This is where you go. So, as you can see, it's in the Coliseum. Oh, I guess we're healing again. Alrighty, so we're about to do the boss. Um, it's actually extremely hard, even on easy mode, it's really hard, so you can see, okay, we're, go we're going right for it, I guess. Um, going to break the seal. <laughs> A little funky animation. <laughs> Slimes are the unhinged, right, let's beat his ass. Oh, oh nice skill, mate. Ass. Oh, oh, okay. Now, this is the slime rain. It's very, very powerful. Avoid being in groups at all times. Look at that. Look how much is that. And it does like a lot of your HP and it has massive range and it does not weigh. It's not like the meteorites. It's extremely fast. Alright, here's the boss. Oh gosh, you're gonna get out of that area. No, I still took damage. That freaking sucks. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting targeted right now. Alright. For an uh, unhinged guy, very strong. Alright. Speed his ass. Where is he? Can we already have the slime rain? Yes, we are. Okay. Holy crap, stop following me, please! Alright, um, make sure. Well, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, make sure when you're doing the slime rain, make sure you're running away from everyone. Make sure you're not getting into groups because. It's really hard when you're in group, like very, very hard. Alright, the boss must be back. Oh no, we have to kill the club now, so we can kill him up here. Alright, like a bit enough. I'm gonna help these lads. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Boss should be spawned back soon. Okay, here we are. Come on, mate. Oh. Beat his ass. Oh, we ride into this lane. Um, try to keep hitting him because when you stop hitting him for like a little bit, um, that's when he starts to get real crazy. That's when he uh, despawns and goes to the. Oh, not despawns. He just starts to one of the slime rays. You want to be hitting him at all times. Okay, then we go slime rain. Okay, don't stay away from me. Come on, I don't know where you're following me, mate. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. The music, bro. The music. Oh my. Okay, let's go kill these buddy old thing. Yeah, eat that bitch. I guess I'll be taking this one off. Oh, thanks for having Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. We show this guy away. Come on. There we are. Alright, the boss is going back. Oh, 
Okay, let him do what he was done. There's no way. Oh my god, look at his HP! Literally like one HP. Literally one HP. We have the two the rain attack, right? The slime rain attack. Oh my god. Imagine we all just died from this right now. Okay, get away from me. There's no way. <laughs> oh my. Whew. Nah, the music's going hard, bruh. Okay, a little lag right now. I'm actually not playing in my own servers, just to let you guys know that. And I'm playing in, um, American servers. Okay, can we seal this bastard away? Oh, um... Let me help these guys. Okay, he's back. We quickly kill him. Imagine he just like quickly despawns. Okay, there we go. No drops. Oh, no drops. Um, that was fun. It's actually really interesting. And the music was crazy, bro. That was crazy. Alrighty. Oh, did I got didn't get sent back to the private server. Got sent back to a public. All right. So, dungeon was good, now going to go to my next part of the video, which should be showing you the yetis. So yes, the yetis, and the crafting system, so let's get into it. Alright, so we're going into the tundra now. <laughs> Gonna go fight some of those bloody yetis. So, um, also, with the yetis, I was just doing it with a group of people. I fought them before, they're not fun. And also the fact that when you're in the tundra, you take damage, so overtime damage kind of thing okay here's the oh, where's the yeti at oh jesus christ that thing's massive massive all right oh my it's quick it's real quick okay the stun lasts very 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 long Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That was easy. That was super duper easy. Okay, we're gonna fight a couple more. What a time perfect block him. There we are. Oh. That's a bit of a pattern. Something I've realized with the Yeti is that. When you're fighting, even if you perfect block, here, let me show you. Even if you try to perfect block these two attacks, okay, I can't show you because I freaking suck ass. But if you try perfect blocking the two first attacks that the um, Yeti does, it's nearly impossible to, uh, like, escape the next hit he does. So you, you're going to take damage either way from the boss because he does the stun and the stun lasts for super duper long and, it, and it's very, very big range. Like, that thing is a lot bigger than the Alpha Wolf. Kind of soloing this thing now. Come on, not one HP again. Alright. Huh. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna fight another one of these. Okay, great healing potion, real quick. Fight his ass. Massive tree. Massive tree. Right. Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass! Aww. Alright, this is done. Jesus Christ. Beat his ass, beat his ass. Bro, I'm kinda getting my ass beaten right now, I'll be honest with you. Stun is very, very quick. Like, he uses it quickly. Where is his ass? Give him a lesson. Ooh. 
I feel like he's gonna be like one HP. Yep, I guess it. All right. Um. Nice. All right. So we've killed a couple yetis. I'm gonna show you how to get to the blacksmith yeti. Oh, I'm kind of dying. I don't know if I'm gonna make it there in time. I'll quickly reset. But I'm gonna travel back there. I'm gonna show you the exact way. So I'm gonna show you the exact way to get to the um, yeti blacksmith and the tundra town because they're in the same place. All right. Alright, so you want to go into the tundra, obviously. So we're going to get to the uh, tundra town. So you just follow me. I oh, guess these were left here. Um, oh, I don't want to get in the way of the uh, Yeti fight. Also, you see the tick damage I'm taking in the tundra, right? So, if you can get Linthari... Oh, I don't know why the guy's chasing after me. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, oh, scripted one. Oh, he's coming after me now. Oh, there's heaps of... Heaps of yetis, bro. Heaps and heaps of yetis. So, yeah, just keep following me where I've gone. So, you just follow and follow the path. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, with Linthari, um, if you don't want to take... Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Please, no. Quickly run, quickly run. Okay, quick come through here. Just quick short cut. Alright, keep following me. Um, so back to what I was saying before I was distracted twice. Um, if you have Linthari, you get a trait called Frost Ward. And Frost Ward basically makes it so you take no tick damage, no damage in the Tundra. So you don't take any, like, frost damage, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is really neat. There is armor, though, that you can get from the Yeti, which does the exact same thing, I'm pretty sure. So, it's also very, very, very neat. Also very needed. Right, so just keep following the path here. Let's go up a couple stairs. Now, for this, you want to make sure you have mana jump. Why? That's because what we're coming up against is... Uh, what we're about to come up to is some parkour. Um, so we need to do some parkour to get to the tundra town, so as you can see, right here, right here. Um, okay, yes, my mana jump does work, last time it didn't. Ouch. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race, like the- Ooh, ooh, Jesus Christ! Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, there we go. Now, there's like two parts to this. Really, I keep falling on accident, but I think it's just my cram camera's being a little bit trippy on me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no! Alright, um, um, we're back at the, the back of the parkour. I didn't fall. I didn't fall. I actually, um, I slipped. No, it's actually a glitch. I actually glitched. Yeah, a bit of a bug I found there, so... It's actually a bug, a really bad bug, where um, I, f I just randomly fell, so don't worry about that. But we're doing the parkour again, after that inconvenience. I swear to god, if I fall, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna flip the tables. I'm suing, bro, I swear. If I fall, then... Okay, right there, come on. <sighs> ah, there we go. Alright, last bit of the parkour. A little simple. There we go. All right, finish the parkour. <laughs> now let, let, let's um go and keep going ahead here. Should find the tundra town somewhere before I bloody die. All right, here we are. Bridge. Yep. Bloody bridge. So I think if we go over here, I'm actually very unsure. Oh no, no, over here, over here. So to the uh, left, when you come in from that side, you can find the blacksmith here. So here we are to this guy so let's see here's all the new the new uh, weapons what do you need eh so we got the yeti horn sword the yeti 
Horn Spear, the Frost Weave regular, which. Yep, Frost Ward, like I said. Like I said before. Now. Let's go back. We got the Ogre Hide Vanguard, the Ogre, ha Ogre Bane Pike, Ogre Bane Iron Blade. So, this is basically like stuff from the Ogre that you can guess. So you remember getting like grinding the Ogre and you got all the drops. So, I don't know if I can make it, but I'll try. No, I don't got enough materials. As you can see, pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's go back to the sword. You get 11 slashing damage. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, frozen lilies. Yep, yeah, um,. So frozen lilies are actually a new flower in the tundra. I have actually haven't seen one myself, but I know they're here. I know for a fact they're here. But that's the blacksmith. So um, for this next part of the video, I'll be showing you all the other, all the other crap. But so uh, like the new moves, so everything, the new yeah. Alrighty, so. The next part of this video it will be a bit of a long segment but i'll be going over all of the new magics and the new dragon race and some other things all right firstly i'm gonna get right into the dragon race really quickly just to get things over and done with so as you can see here i have some green scales on my face um these scales vary you can get um blue red and green ones Personally, I'd rather get the green ones, but um, I mean, not the green ones, the red ones. But I got the green ones, so you know, still, still pretty decent. All right, now I'm gonna quickly just show you the moves. So we have Dragon Sphere. Um, it is an evasive, so you can do it while someone is hitting you, but it does have a bit of a long time. So we'll do we'll do flame first. All right, let's quickly get. It. I have flame on actually at the moment, so we'll do it now. So it's the one down here, Vermilion Blaze Main. Um, it's actually very, very cool. All right, let me show you real quick. Oh, um, I need my Grimoire out. I'm so dumb. But, um, look at that, bro. That, oh my goodness, bro. It's really good. It, it does heaps of damage. Um, and then it also does take damage afterwards. If you if you get flame fully. I would suggest go straight for um, intelligence, bro. I when we were testing it, someone put a heap into intelligence, good amount, like a good build, good mage build, and it melted away 400 of my HP. I had 500, uh, not not here, but I had 500 HP, and he melted away 400, and then the rest got just destroyed by the tick damage afterwards from the fire, which is you know crazy. So let's see it again here. Jesus, bro. Okay, so now I got water, as you can see, my grimoire. Um, and the new ability is this one down here, right here. Male Storm Surge. I'd also like to mention, all of the um, new abilities scale by clovers. So, with the Male Storm Surge, it starts off extremely small. So small. And then it gets a lot bigger. And you're going to see that with a, a, um, a lot of the abilities coming. Alright, so let's quickly use it. Jesus, that's good. It's like it's like the avoid the void attack, depth coil, but it like drags you into the middle. It's really good. Against a player, um, I don't actually think they can escape it unless they try dashing a lot. And and look, look look down there. For the amount of time that it takes to get it back, the cooldown, that that's actually really insane. Alright, let's quickly use it again all these guys together. We could also just keep hitting them like that. Oh my goodness, bro. Jesus Christ. What is probably going to be the next meta for grinding? Alright, I got lightning. I didn't want to equip all the other spells, just to show. So, Thunder God's full. For this one, I will show you the clovers, though, for this one. So, oh, okay. Um, so, get them, move them a little bit. So... We have high for armor, so they can't do any damage to us. Look at that. They just absolutely melted him. So you can see the zone wasn't as big. So I'm going to quickly give myself... Um, I'm going to give myself three clovers. And then I'll show you what it will look like. Alrighty. So, um, 
I have the, the three clovers down here, like as you can see. So I'm gonna do a little bit of comparison real quick. So just to show you. So now look at the zone. Look at the zone. I don't even need to do a comparison to show you. Look at that. That's massive. That zone is actually massive. Also, with this ability, I'm pretty sure it's a three leaf. Yeah, it should be a three leaf. Um, yeah, it's a three leaf. If I'm wrong, um, let me know down in the comments. But it should be. So yeah, this ability melts. It absolutely melts. See, that's really a bad thing about the ability. Um, you can be hit at the end. But other than that, it's pretty insane. It, it melts. Alright. Let's get to the next part in the video. Alrighty, for this next part of the video, I'll be showing off the new max level and the new spear tutor. Alrighty, let's get into it. So as you can see down here, I'm level 150. And if we look at my stats, so 150, yep. My stats have risen up by a lot, a lot. I did put them in earlier and they're kind of crappy stats. I did them really quickly. But as you can see, that's a fair bit. I'll quickly get out of that. For the spear teacher over here. So I did talk about him in the video earlier. And we're going to actually get to him now. So if you talk to him, he says, oh, it's you. I suppose you think you're ready to handle a spear. And then you say, I'm ready. So this is... And then you get the same quest up here. So I'm going to click off. So you get the quest. You have to defeat Yetis. Now, when... You go to talk to him the first. I think you have to kill 15 players. Um, if I remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to kill 15 players. So, yep. So, let's get right into the spear skills. I'm going to show you the spear skills. Thank you for watching the video and making it all the way to the end if you did make it to the end comment down something below saying like oh i made it to the end or something you really liked in the video watching if you have any suggestions for any videos put them down in the comments below and yep thanks for watching see ya